Guys, today I have for you barbecue chicken setup, just the way you love it, properly cooked from both sides. Yeah! <laughs> you need some spicy sauce. This build destroys legendary strongholds without breaking a sweat. Super, super dope setup. I'm using Heartbreaker hybrid build, which works as a solo player or for solo players and in team runs as well. The main thing here that we have tons of DPS, armor, bonus armor and of course skill utility. And if I have to be honest, actually Heartbreaker gear set is one of the best gear sets which were added lately to the game. Of course it received nerf, but it's still pretty goddamn dope if you know how to use it. Uncle Butcher in the building as usual covering Division 2 basically daily. I hope we will get something new soon. Maybe Heartlands DLC or anything like that. I think it's far, far away from us now. Uh, tons of games coming up actually, but damn, still Division 2 is a really fun game to play, but I wish we received a little bit more content. Anyway, in this one we are using Capacitor and Kingbreaker. This combo is still one of the best combos to use in Legendary difficulty and the reason is quite simple because Capacitor with full stacks will provide you with 60% extra skill damage and each skill tier will give you 7.5% extra weapon damage but from other hand Kingbreaker named with assault rifle with perfect flatline talent can be activated with technician specialization linked laser pointer attachment and that will give us amplified weapon damage and of course uh, skill damage easy to use and with heartbreaker gear second breaker works really really well together nail some headshots and you are gaining bonus armor my potato maybe is not that great but if you can nail headshots you will have a shit ton of bonus armor but before we continue quick word from the sponsor dean.net if you don't have enough time or a good teammate but you still want to have all the best items in your game then dean.net is set for you they have absolutely amazing team on consoles they will complete your order super quick everything happens through account sharing this service has been working for many many years they have tons of customer reviews you can check everything by yourself but now with my promo code rbd or rbd you will have 15 percent discount on all services so if you have any questions don't hesitate drop your comment down below in the comment section or contact the operator and the rest will be the history but now let's get back to this legendary setup and i have done millions of hybrid setups <laughs> i'm not exact yeah, I'm not uh, overreacting by saying that I have done millions of uh, builds in Division 2 and uh, I can tell you that this one is pretty goddamn dope and with some slight modifications you can run this setup in PvP as well, especially in Dark Zone. Maybe not in Conflict, but in DZ you can have some fun in Conflict, you need high uh, DPS setups, time to kill is kinda nasty, so you will not survive with tanky setups. But DZ is completely a different story, and Heartbreaker can provide us with tons of bonus armor. For specialization, we will use technician specialization, we will gain extra skill tier, link and laser point attachment, disrupt grenades, which are extremely handy on legendary runs. Stop Chan to stop Changas, healing stations, dogs, drones, all the shenanigans will be stopped and now you can be awesome tackler and carry your squad with this build and link it laser point attachment is also always nice on your king breaker named the assault rifle you will pull enemies you're gonna see them through the walls it's like a free cheat uh, in the game um, and it's really simple to use actually and also you're gonna gain uh, artificial hive which gonna heal your assault turret non-stop cheesy for lazy players it's the combo to go for weapons though i'm using king breaker and capacitor the reasons again are kind of obvious my bastard jesus man how many times i have to explain this shit you're gonna gain 60 percent extra skill <laughs> damage with your capacitor and of course each skill tier will give you 7.5 percent extra weapon damage and it has really really nice weapon attachments 
mods on the capacitor actually is really delicious you have as well crit damage just like on saint elmo's engine exotic assault rifle you have crit chance you have stability i think magazine size uh, is small but still all other attachments are kind of top tier i think it has the second best attachments behind the cap uh, let me backtrack i think it's the second best weapon in terms of attachments it has as an exotic in the game right now first of course is saint elmos and second will be capacitor because only for that small magazine size if capacitor would have 60 bullets i think capacitor would be really really strong meta weapon for pistol, I'm using TDI name with pistol within sync with extra skill tier. You could use future perfection or preservation on this pistol. Preservation works with skill kills, so in that way you could heal yourself basically non-stop. Really nice synergy. Future perfection would give you extra skill tiers and eventually overcharge. So you can proc overcharge, switch to preservation or in sync. It depends what you need. If you need armor and if you don't want to waste medkits, use preservation as your pistol. If you need more DPS using sync you can basically hold three weapons uh, three pistols in your backpack and switch those on the fly it depends what you need for the gear i'm using four pieces from heartbreaker gear set with weapon damage core attributes and two with skill tiers and of course i have skill damage everywhere and crit chance in my mods to be decent with my weapons for backpack i'm using fanaris with companion double companion setups are still okay Top tier combination to use in PvP and PvV, don't worry, even after the nerf, companions together work really well, okay, definitely you can use this combo. For chest piece I'm using perfect companion which will give us 20% additional damage, normal companion on my backpack will give us 15% damage and uh, now it depends on your preference how you want to use this setup, if you want to proc companion non-stop you could use fixer drone, deflector drone or maybe some kind of seeker mine which can follow you or sit around the artificial hive or your assault turret, it's simple as that, I'm using shield and assault turret and I'm trying to be close to my assault turret or my teammates when I need to proc extra DPS and DPS is really really delicious so I think it's pretty dope setup perfect companion four pieces from heartbreaker gear with three skill tiers with my pistol I have four skill tiers and you can switch some things here and there I have two offensive core attributes for survivability one armor core attribute and capacitor will turn each skill tier into extra weapon damage I think this build is pretty dope my rolls are not that great on my chest plate I would rather have uh, crit damage and skill damage it is what it is bye